Hello my fellow Scratchers, in this video I am going to tell you about how to use addition and subtraction basic operators of Scratch. So, I am going to tell you just two simple methods, addition and subtraction. This is the project of addition. First, you will enter your first number. For example, I set the first number to 1. And here you can enter your second number. For now, I'm just going to type 2. As you can see, it finds the sum of these two numbers. Same for the subtraction, but instead, it will tell you the difference of two numbers. So, first number, we will set it to 2. And the second number, we will set it to 1. As you can see, it tells me the difference between these two numbers. Now let's build our program. So let's name our project addition. Now the addition script will be divided into two sections. Initialization and addition. So let's start with the initialization. First, we will delete this my variable and create four new variables. First variable we will name First number, and the second variable we will name second number. And the third variable will be sum. And the fourth variable will be display. Before using these four variables, let me tell you their uses. The first number will store your first number, while the second number will store your another number. And the display is going to display your result, while the sum is going to find the sum of the first number and second number variable. So let's start with the initialization. First, we will drag the when green flag clicked into the scripting area. Now go to the variables category and drag the set first number to 0 block and now drag the second number to 0 variable block here. Now we will set the display to nothing and we will set the sum to 0. Now let's create a new broadcast message named start. Now drag the when I receive block here and choose the option start. Now first it will ask the user the first number. So let's ask the user enter your first number then it will store that value in the variable first number that the user has given us now duplicate it from here and the user will ask the second number And then it will store that value in the second number variable. Now it will find the sum of these two variables. So we will set the sum variable to first number plus second number. Now let's run our program. So let's set the first number to 1 and the second number to 2. As you can see, it tells me the sum of these two numbers. Now I want to display the two numbers using the enter with a sum sign. So we will need four join blocks. And attach them inside of each join blocks like this. So we will join the first number with a 
plus sign and then we will join the second number with the equals to sign and in the third join block we will only drag the sum block inside now keep it save somewhere else so drag the set variable to block here and we will set the display to this whole condition that I have made earlier now first let's hide our display variable now we will show the variable display and hide all of these variables and drag the display variable here and set it to large readout now unbox this check button now I wanted to say when it finds the answer it tells that this is the answer so it will tell this is the answer for two seconds now let's run our program as you can see it asks the first number and then the second number now it displays the first number with a plus sign and the second number with an equals to sign then it tells you the sum now to display your subtraction we will just need to do a few changes so we will change the title of this project to subtraction and replace this sum sign with a subtraction sign and instead of putting the addition sign here we will just set it to minus sign now we will change the names of some variables so change the name of the sum variable to difference now let's run our subtraction program so it will ask a first number which I will enter 2 and then it will ask your second number which I will enter 1 as you can see it displays me the result as always thank you so much for watching my video if you want to learn how to perform multiplication and division then check out my scratch blocks multiplication division video I'll see you in my next video bye guys and take care